So now I'm making probably the coolest part on the whole vehicle besides the trailing arm. This is going to be the most prominent piece because you'll always be able to see it. And what it is, is the upper control arm mounting bracket. So it's going to be a big giant billet 7075 aluminum piece. And the reason I did not want to use sheet here is because those pivot points on the rod ends are at really weird angles with respect to each other. And I need to capture them in a way where sheet metal just wouldn't work for this application. Unless you had really, really precise bends, the whole thing would bind up. So I just decided to use aluminum on this part because the upper control arms have the lowest amount of force on them out of any component in front assembly because there's no shocks attached to them. All they're doing is keeping the wheel upright as it cycles through the suspension. And the only force load that you would get on it is a lateral force load when you're going through a turn. And since those rod ends are spread so far out, their respective moment arms really reduce the force on each. So I'm starting by defining the upper control arm spherical bearing locations, which are all at 30 degrees with respect to each other, but they're slightly offset from the origin. And what I'm going to do is just make a big boxy part that ties in everything where I need it and then start cutting around that in a way that makes sense for a machining operation. So these two holes represent the frame rails that we'll be going through with a 12 inch separation. And these are going to tie into that top X cross beam that I made. And as it stands right now, this part needs to be beefed up a lot. So that's what we're gonna be working on. And so I'm just making more bosses here to fill in those weird gaps and add some bracing to that X. And so rather than having a double shear bolt, I'm going to have a threaded hole on each of those corners. And you'll still have double shear mounting on the bolts, but you won't have to have a nut on the end of it. So it reduces part count. And on aluminum parts like this, whenever you have a thread, you just wanna make sure that you're using a threaded insert or a helicoil so that the threads don't rip the aluminum out under high torque. So I need these really big bump outs on each of these to make sure that I have enough clearance for the rod ends, which the housing of the rod end is just huge on these upper control arms. It's 3.5 inches in diameter. And that's because they're the biggest rod ends that I could find for an application like this. They're a two inch inside diameter and a two inch thread, which would be overkill for anything else other than this crazy vehicle. Most of the stuff that I found on the trophy truck suppliers websites goes up to about an inch for rod end size, but these are double that because the tires are double anything that's out there.